Welcome to another Rig Play Zone, which is the series we're doing to help you parents and guardians out there with a few tips and tricks to do musical arts and crafts and musical games. So today we're focusing on arts and crafts and we're going to be making some tin can drums, which is another fantastic rig recycling tip. Um, any tin will do any tin will do except for the types of tin where you have to use a tin opener preferably use the ones with uh, the ring pull cans and i'll explain why in a second so get whichever tin you are going to use this one i imagine was a baked bean tin a minute ago and i have washed it out thoroughly and i have also put gaffer tape all around the edge of the top edge just to make sure that little fingers really don't get hurt. Um, that is the reason why ring pull much better than um, using can opener ones because the can opener ones all have sharp jagged edges. No, 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 do not want. Don't want any bloody fingers, please. Um, so yes, make sure you cover it over. The next thing on our drum, of course, is the skin of the drum, which is the top layer. And that's the bit that you hit. So a drum is formed of a skin and then an echo chamber underneath, which is where the sound vibrates. And that is a hollow space. So this is our hollow space. And for the skin, we are going to use a balloon. Um, the great thing about balloons, they come in all different sizes and colours, so you can get creative with using different colours on different tin cans and making up a whole drum set. Um, if you just use them like this, it's going to be too small, so you need to cut it about halfway down, maybe even more like two thirds of the way down, so that you just get this bulb bit on the end. So, And it's this bit that we're using. And then you're going to stretch it out over the top like that. I'm not going to stretch it out because I did one earlier and they can be a bit fiddly to do. Once you've put it over the top, make sure you tape it down around the edge because um, they have a tendency otherwise to ping off and you don't want that. Now apart from using balloons, you might not have any balloons in the house. You could use paper, just put a bit of paper over the top. Uh, cut out a circle and put that on there. This was a drum made by somebody who came to one of our arts and crafts sessions recently and they used paper, I believe, because we ran out of um, the balloons. And if you hear, it still makes a really good sound. And apart from paper or cardboard, you could use um, the plastic bits, the, uh, the plastic circles. If you are a jam maker, now that is a niche uh, business, but if you happen to make jam from home and you have those circles of plastic that you put over the jam jar at the end, they also are perfect. So you could use one of those. Anyway, we're sticking with balloons, which I do believe is the best option. So after we have our balloon, this is our base of our drum, we want to decorate it. And um, as we did with the shakers, I'd usually give um, a child a piece of card, a strip of paper or card, which you have pre-cut, and then you decorate it. And you can decorate it with stickers, pens, pencils. This is one I did earlier. Hey, don't laugh. It's supposed to be a bunny an easter bunny what do you mean it looks insane i know but you know we're all in isolation here and <laughs> i'm going to decorate my tin can drum using that which i think looks great i don't care what you say there we go so that's my tin can drum and now we need something to play it with so perfect solution is you know those chopsticks which have been lying around the house since the last asian takeaway that you had maybe you had a chinese and you thought nah use a fork instead now's the time to get those out because they are perfect <laughs> drumsticks. So we've got our drumsticks and it's always lovely to attach your drumsticks to the side. Make sure you measure them from the table because if you do that 
and then stick them down. You can't sit them down on the table, so it gets a little bit annoying. So put the, your drumsticks on. I'm going to use that little bit of space there, which is empty, to stick that on. I use a piece of cello tape over the over the paper to make a sort of holder, and then you can take your drumsticks out any time you wish to play. The next thing, which is a great thing, addition, is to use a piece of string or um, twine or wool, anything that you like, tie it around the top. Maybe just tape it down there so that it doesn't move around. And then you can tie it around your neck and then you have your drum which can hang around your neck and we can walk around the house of course disclaimer please be careful i know you all know this but when um using string or any kind of um hazardous device like that because of course your children could choke on anything like that if left unaccompanied so please do genuinely in all seriousness beware and be careful so there you have it this is your drum but it doesn't have to stop there you could use a different size tin can and this time i am going to stretch this over and we'll see if it works Woo! went over first time and then i'm going to tape it around the edge there we go on a few different sides oops one on this side as well and make sure it doesn't pop off and you can have different sounds so um fantastic way of making different uh, noises with your drums you can set up a whole drum set like i say have different colored tops equally you could tie the two together and wear both around your neck so that you can play all of them and if you have three or four it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so go crazy with it another thing you can use if you did not want to uh, decorate it such as this you can leave it bare and then hey ho it becomes also a scraper so you become it becomes like a double instrument scraper scraper drum drum scraper scraper drum drum <laughs> um who's saying that this inside living is uh, affecting my life no one so Please do have loads of fun making your drums, making your shakers. You can start to make a, a little recycled orchestra out of some of the stuff we're doing here on the Rig Play Zone. So show us, show us what you're doing. We would love to see. Please subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting stuff every other day. Also on Instagram, we're doing just short one minute videos. So have a look at us there. And yeah, we'll see you again. Bye.